Hi guys! So today we're going to continue our solution to problem 4.18 and this time we're going to find the polarization in each lab and we're going to find the potential difference between the plates. Okay, so let's recall first. If we're going to recall that the, the two slabs, slab 1 and slab 2, sorry, this should be slab 2, we have dielectric constants 2 and 1.5 okay so for slab 1 the dielectric constant epsilon r1 is equal to 2 whereas in slab 2 the dielectric constant is 1.5 or three halves and this enables us to calculate the electric field in slab one which is equal to sigma over two epsilon whereas for slab two the electric field is two sigma over three epsilon naught. okay so now if you want to find the polarization okay so remember that polarization is equal to epsilon naught times C or chi E times E where epsilon naught is the permittivity with the free space chi is the susceptibility electric susceptibility and E is the electric field in that certain region okay so in scalar form this becomes P equals epsilon naught chi e times e so remember here in this case this gives us sorry this two gives us the general expression for the electric field which is sigma over epsilon r epsilon naught just like in our previous problem so therefore generally the electric field will be substituted here that sigma over epsilon r epsilon naught okay uh, because we know so because epsilon naught can be cancelled here so therefore and then again noting that we note that um chi e is equal to epsilon r minus 1 so chi e at epsilon r minus 1 divided by epsilon r so this is now equal to epsilon r minus 1 divided by epsilon r sigma okay so therefore the polarization which is 1 minus 1 over epsilon r sigma is now equal to the following P1, which is the polarization in slab number 1, is now equal to, so this is 1 minus 1 over 2, so that's 1 minus 1 half, so that's 1 half. So this is equal to sigma over 2. And then polarization in slab 2, so this is 3 halves, so this is 1 minus 1 over 3 halves or 1 minus 2 thirds. So 1 minus 2 thirds is 1 third. So this is sigma over 3. Okay, and so as you will notice, these two are constant. So the polarization in the in the slabs are constant. Now for letter D, we want now to find the potential difference between the plates. Okay? Because this is a parallel plate, the potential will now be equal to E times D. But because we have two regions of different electric fields, so that means the potential difference between the plates will now be equal to the potential from plate one from this plate to here 
and then the potential difference between this this part to the other plane so this is e1 d1 plus e2 d2 because d1 and d2 are the same and that is equal to a so this is equal to a we know e1 will now be sigma over 2 epsilon naught times a plus 2 sigma over 3 epsilon times a okay and this is now and the potential difference between the plates is now equal to sigma a over epsilon times one half plus two thirds which is seven over six very good so this is seven over six then sigma a on top and then epsilon naught at the bottom so this is now your potential difference okay so this is the polarization on each lab and this is the potential difference between the plates okay so that's it that's our answer for c and d so in the next video we will answer the the, the remaining uh prob the remaining numbers or the, the the remaining letters wherein we are tasked to find the location and amount of all bound charge and we're going to cal recalculate the field in each lab to confirm our answer for letter b okay so i hope you learned something here and then i'll see you guys in the next video thank you for watching bye bye